What's up guys and welcome to the show. So get the popcorn popping, get the sodas pouring. Uh, hurry up, make your coffee, make love to your wife and get right back here because it is time for your favorite show. That's right, this is the Lucha Libre New Slash Rancho right here only on Peter Buddy. Now let's just dive right into things, uh, shall we? Uh, MLW Fusion 33. Now I know this happened a little while ago, but uh, we did see La Park and Son of La Park taking on the Tag Team Champions, uh, which are Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. The Lucha Brothers, this matchup was definitely nothing short of simply amazing the back and forth was definitely off the wall this matchup was high flying and very hardcore and very very much a just an all-out brawl this matchup was definitely nothing short of simply amazing now we did see the lucha brothers pull out the win uh, via pinfall i believe pentagon jr pinned uh son of the park this matchup was definitely one for the books uh the lucha brothers definitely have cemented their spot as one of the best tag team uh tag teams out there today uh of course phoenix is one of the greatest uh luchadors out there period uh same with pentagon jr is one of the greatest luchadors out there period so of course naturally when they team up the two of course are brothers in real life so when the two team up of course simply they're going to be um, one of the best tag teams out there today now mlw uh fusion 34 seen the debut of rush in the mlw ring this matchup was against sammy Rivera. Now this matchup was not the best match I've seen either one of these guys compete in, but it was still none. It was still good nonetheless. The uh, the technical uh, aspect was decent. The back and forth was decent. The high flying was decent. Now Rush did end up pulling out the win of this matchup, which I kind of figured he would. Uh, anyway, now Rush is going to have a really long really good career here in mlw uh, i definitely won't be surprised if that included a title run or two and i definitely would not be surprised if uh, the mlw uh, did not bring up their rush uh, la park feud as uh, this is one of the biggest feuds going in the lucha libre world and has been for so quite some time i would definitely uh not be surprised if the two uh met at uh, a mlw pay-per-view or two uh Definitely not. Um, the two have had some of the greatest matchups that uh, uh, Lucha Libre has definitely ever seen. Now, AAA ended up having another uh, Facebook Watch uh, Live event. This past week, where we've seen Texano Jr. take on Psycho Clown. Now, this matchup was definitely good, but I was definitely hoping that Texano Jr. would win, as I'm not a fan of Psycho Clown. But, of course, you can't win them all. Uh, this was another decently good matchup was Nino versus Golden Magic. Now last time Facebook uh, watch happened, Golden Magic ended up taking on Pentagon Jr. and ended up losing. This time around, Golden Magic ended up pulling out uh, the pinfall against uh, Nino. And uh, the matchup itself was actually better than I thought. Australian Suicide ended up taking on Laredo Kid. And what was the matchup of the night in my books? This matchup was extremely technical, extremely back and forth, and was just all around epic. All in all, AAA is doing really good with the Facebook Live events as far as match selection goes. I'm rather impressed with everything, and I think AAA is doing a rather insanely good job. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of these events up as this was episode 6, and they're already advertising for episode 7, uh, which uh, so far I've only seen a couple, uh, ma uh, couple of the matches on the card so i don't really know who else is going but so far from what i've seen it's it looks like it's going to actually be uh rather good and uh, i'm definitely handing it out to AAA. they're doing such an amazing job with these events like their match selection is is really really top of the line like top notch i mean this is what they're what they're doing is is just simply amazing like uh the events are, are good, rather entertaining. The match section, like I said, it keeps you guessing uh, with the match selection. And I like the fact that they have live uh, voting. So you can actually vote for who's going to win and you see who was ahead in the votes. And I really definitely like that aspect. So my hat goes off to AAA in that regard. Now, Lucha Mimi's had a good event this past weekend as well. Uh, we saw Zumbai defeat uh, Al Aledo. Uh, this matchup was okay, but definitely nothing great. Impossible beat Aluko Max in a rather decently good matchup. This matchup was definitely better than I had expect, ex expected. Um, 
Alubez uh, ended up defeating uh, Dragon Bane. Now we would definitely have liked to see Dragon Bane pull out the win with this matchup, but I, I still definitely thought this matchup was really good. Uh, Dragon Bane, he's he's definitely coming up there uh, in the Lucha Libre world. That's kind of why I would have liked to see him win because I know in IWRG he's you know one of the top guys and. He, he, he is a really good uh, uh, luchador, and I think he definitely deserves a lot more respect than um, what he's getting for sure. Now, Templaro ended up beating uh, Canis Lupus and uh, Paleto uh, Jr. Uh, Tem now, Templaro is uh, one of my uh, top five favorite luchadors out there today. Now, I was definitely quite impressed with this matchup. The talent of these luchadors involved is simply just amazing, which is true. I mean, these guys that are, were involved in this matchup are definitely top of the line. Uh, I was really impressed by this matchup uh, for sure. Now, Escavito uh, B. Mascara. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Now, uh, Scabito uh, ended up defeat, defeating uh, Mascara Magic uh, Jr. Uh, now, this matchup was decently uh, good. Not great, but it was still decent. Now, Armas ended up defeating Ricky Marvin. Uh, after Ricky Marvin ended up uh, suffering from injury during the match, the ref ended up stopping the matchup. Uh, thus, Armas uh, ended up getting the win. After uh, Marvin ended up uh, suffering from a head injury uh now from what i've heard this isn't wasn't a rather this wasn't a very serious injury that uh marvin would be fine uh i believe during the matchup he ended up uh taking a rather big blow to the head uh and he was knocked unconscious for a while uh i, I like i said i heard that it wasn't very serious i heard that he was fine and he's gonna be doing all right but uh Definitely uh, hope he's, uh, you know, going to be 100% when he's in the ring action next. Now, of course, um, on to a little bit of M uh, L L uh, F. Lady Flamer ended up beating Zoo6 uh, to retain her title. I have nothing but respect for both luchadors, as they are both my in my top five favorite, famous, favorite female luchador as well, a little bit of a tongue twister there. I would have liked to have seen, of course, Zusex pull out the win, but something tells me that this won't be the last time that these two meet in a title matchup. I definitely see a title matchup again happening between these two in the rather near future. This matchup was really good, and I can't say enough good things about this matchup. If you have the time, I definitely suggest that you go check it out. Now, I believe the only way that you can actually check out these matchups is if you go to the LLF uh, website and you have to purchase these matchups, but I think you could watch highlights somewhere floating around the web somewhere. Now, according to sources close to Vampiro, uh, the Lucha Libre legend will not be resigning with Lucha Underground for a fifth season. Uh, Vampiro, who signed to Lucha Underground uh, for a four-year season or for four-season contract. Uh, his contract is, of course, later uh, is up later this year. Uh, he is stated to not re-sign. Now we reached out to Van Piro to see, in, in fact, uh, he has decided not to re-sign, but we have not heard back from him as of yet. And I want to triple check on that just to make sure that he actually didn't. No, we have not uh, heard back from him uh, with regard to this as of yet. But if this is in fact true and he has not decided to re-sign with uh, Lucha Underground, he is still signed to AAA. And AAA uh, uh, is a partner in Lucha Underground. So I'm sure that uh, he will be uh, still involved. And probably not as a ring uh, commenta commentator, but uh, probably as a backstage uh, personnel. Uh, I'm not too sure who would they who would get to replace them. Uh, it's going to be quite a while uh, before uh, any real Lucha Underground news comes out as a uh, season probably won't happen until uh, at least June uh, anyway. Um, but anyway, that's the video for you guys today. Hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know over much, and I will check you in the next video.